All right, what's up guys? Today I am in the shop. Yesterday I did not have a video, um, mainly because I've been having uh, a little bit of <laughs> some issues with our um, family vehicle. So I had to tend to that the day before yesterday and uh, a lot of the time yesterday. Uh, so yeah, so Tuesday and Wednesday. But anyway, we got the air unit installed and it is cooling pretty good in here and the thing is quiet i'm going to see if you guys can hear anything obviously if i put the speaker up next to it so it's it's pretty quiet so here's the thermostat and it's uh you know you can put it on auto you can cool heat uh, I think this is for like uh, humidity or whatever. You can set a timer for it and that kind of thing. Uh, you can swing the little arm, which if you notice this little arm right here is slow. So you might not be able to see it on camera, but it just swings up and down real slow. Just kind of moves the air in the shop. So that's pretty cool. So you don't have to point this thing. This is the actual thermostat. And so, but I could take it around if I, if I wanted to. Um, so I'm liking that. And the outside unit is just as quiet. And so I'm hoping that will be, um, I'm hoping that will be helpful in my videos. Cause right now, or previously I had the window unit in the, uh, in the window and I had to turn it off every time I wanted to like talk into the camera or whatever. So and all I'm using is a shotgun mic. But I'm fixing to upgrade to a, uh, I think, I'm, you know, Jay and I, we do a lot of collaboration and as far as thoughts and business and, you know, videos sometimes, but he's got some really good setups. I think I'm going to steal his uh, mic setup and try that because his audio quality has uh, really improved. Um, so be looking for that. And I'm going to be getting set up with a new lathe. I'm, I, I got a lot of. I'm spending a lot of extra funds lately, but I've got to get set up for my classes. Uh, and so if you want to be able to be successful in those things, you got to make the investment. And um, that's kind of like, you know, what I'm thinking. So I'm going to be doing that probably this next week. And before the summer's out, have a few classes for the just general public. Um, and then... When school starts back, I'll go back to homeschool um, students. But uh, one thing I want to ask you guys, and I don't really do this. I don't hardly ever uh, mention my Patreon. So don't just click off right now because you hear Patreon. I want your guys' opinion and your feedback. Um, if you want to support me, that's fine. But this is not what this is about. I want to change, and I've been back and forth, back and forth with my Patreon. And this will probably eliminate a lot of folks because they're not interested, but some folks probably would be interested. But the idea that I think I've got is a portion of my Patreon, as far as the rewards go, um, I want to gear it toward more the business side. And I've had this idea for a long time, um, probably since the first of the year. And I wanted to incorporate it into a um podcast or whatever but uh brad would fix this build that and john malecki they've got a podcast on the business side of things and i've had that idea in my mind for a long time so i kind of want to take a different approach to it so i want to maybe do a reward level on patreon uh to where i kind of give you the inside uh, look at how i do business with youtube and instagram um and i'm not by any means you know just on the top of everything on that as far as that goes because i'm learning i'm i'm just in the learning phases and i'm i'm doing this you know on my own and doing a lot of research and listening to a lot of podcasts and so um for those of you that might be interested in that kind of thing uh kind of like a uh, accountability partners and that you know maybe do some google hangouts and that kind of thing um how I set my website up, uh, you know, how, how do I, uh, you know, what are the revenue streams that I, that I have and how do I accomplish those? 
So those are just some things I'm, I'm toying with. So give me your feedback on that stuff, um, if, if at all interested. I don't want to you know, push all that here on this channel because I just want to keep this raw and just informative stuff and just regular shop things and um, stuff you, like, you guys like to hear about. But for those of you that might want to go a step further, further and know that stuff, then maybe that's a place that we can address that. Uh, so... I, th I think some of you guys would actually like that. So let me know what you think. Um, as far as everything else in the shop, I don't know uh, exactly the direction I'm fixing to take because I've got to do several things as I've mentioned on this, on this here. As in, you know, this is the setup I'm talking about for the lathe. And then I've got this area that I need to do um, all that is still in the works. I've just got to get it done. The, the Sky Took Adventure uh, road trip and um, several things as far as just me being gone has just really put a damper on my, on my schedule. So I've got to get back on track. My website is about to uh, be done. So I've been putting a lot of time in, into my website and I'm fixing to release it. So when I release it, I'll let you guys know so you can go check it out. But if you guys want to, uh, once I switch over to the new platform on WordPress, uh, as far as my website goes, on Stone and Sons, I'm going to take all of the, uh, I'm, I have an account over on Weebly that uh, I've got iMake Studios running on. So I'm going to take the funds, the business account that I've got over there and transfer it into iMake Studios and do a little more there too as well for the classes side of things. So um, go over to imakestudios.com, check it out. Um, that's I've just got one class there. It's an in-person, in-shop class. The price is there, like what the students would pay, what's included. Um, for, you, for those of you that have asked me about classes and you know what to do, uh, that's a good place to start. So just go look at that website and I'll probably be revamping that as time goes on. I'm not gonna just put a ton of time into that one because I want my Stone and Sons workshop website to be my main website I want to put a lot of time into that provide a place for you guys to get um, everything that I'm doing there on one place so all right guys I've rambled on long enough uh, if you have any questions about what's going on in the shop if you have any questions about some of the things that I've mentioned in this um, video leave me a comment down below oh look Jake over in Texas, Northside Custom Crafts, Jake Thompson sent me a shirt. Thank you, brother, representing you today. Um, Y'all go check his stuff out. I think it's North, uh, northsidecustomcrafts.com, uh, I believe. Just Google him. Anyway, check him out. Talk to you guys later. See you.